guys, let's start this video off by subscribing and turning the notifications on for this channel. It will notify you directly, letting you know I posted a new video. That way, you never miss an update. Welcome to the family. Now let's start this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Brooklyn's BUT Corner. Thank you for joining me back here on my channel for another video. For those of you that are new on the account of this video, welcome. I hope you stick around and kick it with the kid. I hope you see things that you like and you stick around and join the family. Today, I'm going to do my first holiday tutorial for you guys and I'm so freaking excited. This is what I came up with. I did give two lip options, but I do want to talk about the look for a smidget because the video might be a little long already. So I do want to say this look was inspired by a photo I saw on Instagram. So I was on Instagram and I saw this picture right here with the brown smoky eye and I was blown away by this picture. First of all, her beauty is gorgeous. I don't know who she is. And I fell in love with the look. I fell in love with her beauty. Just everything about that look I fell in love with and I knew I had to recreate it. When I was recreating the look, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a perfect holiday look if I put some gold in the center. And that's what I did. I simply used that look as a canvas and then I made it my own for the holidays. I give you two lip options. Of course, a nude lip and then the lip that she's wearing in the actual picture or something very close and similar to it. What makes this tutorial epic, I use all drugstore products or highly freaking affordable products. I'm telling you guys, yes, all drugstore, affordable. And look at this beat. Like... Look at it. Amazing. I don't know. I'm really, really in love with the look. I really hope you guys like it too. Like, I'm so nervous about it because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional. I'm just learning as I go along. And this is something that inspired me. And I took it and made it my own by adding my own twist and creativity to it. So I really hope you guys like it. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get right into this video. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to work on is the eyebrows so her eyebrows are really big and bushy but they are defined i don't really have any drugstore eyebrow products um the ones that i had are finished to create those brows i'm gonna go in with my treasure lee gel liner from nyx in the color brown i'm also going to go in with elf treat and tame um the dark side by combing my brows hair up and then i'm gonna start filling it in just defining my natural shape and going in with it and thickening it up. We're not gonna spend too much time on the brows. I'm just gonna thicken the brows and make them look as natural and bushy as possible using the products that I mentioned. Of course, I know I don't really have to mention it, but you don't have to go this dark and bushy. You can omit the brow part. I know this is a holiday tutorial also because I felt like it would be gorgeous for the holidays. You do not have to keep the big bushy brows if that's not your thing, but I do want to try it out with the look. So I'm gonna get very close to it, but not OD close to it, if that makes any sense. We are going into primer and I'm going with LA Girl Pro Prep Prime. It's a high definition smoothing primer. And because we're going in with the ultimate glow, one of my favorite drugstore primers is Pacifica All Light Neural BB Cream Primer. Yeah, yeah. What a shame if you were mine, you would not get the same. If you were mine, you would top everything. So, next up, I'm going in with my NYX orange concealer in a jar, and I'm going to cover up my dark circles. So, I'm going in with NYX tinted moisturizer all over my face. You can use whatever foundation that you are loving at the moment. And look very even it looks very dewy glowy and healthy which is what we're going for i'm gonna go in and highlight and i'm going to contour in the picture she has a very bright but yet subtly bright highlight so we're gonna go for that we're gonna try to do that today but um i know it's more so her highlight work so to highlight i'm going in with my um 
Maybelline Mask Match Master Concealer. And this is about three shades lighter than my skin tone. To set that, I am using Ben Nye Banana Powder, although I suggest using Sasha Buttercup. going in with my BH Cosmetics blush and contour palette. I'm gonna go in with this, these two deep shades to contour, but before I do that, I'm first gonna go into my Forever Nude palette, um, medium deep, and I'm gonna use this bronzing color right here to first blend out and contour. Because she has such a rich, deep contour, I'm gonna go in and do all of that work. It is very necessary. She has such a deep, rich contour, and that's what we're gonna go for. Our goal is to keep it fairly simple and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the actual look and then once the actual eye look is done I'm gonna stop there and show you what that looks like and what I'm gonna do is take it up a step further and make it holiday friendly give you a little pizzazz and a little bling and that's what I'm saying um, and this is where I get the concept of it is inspired by this look but made my own for the holidays I'm just gonna take some of my LA girl concealer and I'm gonna put it on my lids and what this is going to do is going to take away any discoloration and dark circles. And it's also going to act as a primer. I'm, again, I'm going in with my next Treasure Lee gel liner and I'm putting that all over my lid and that's going to be our base. Because I have hooded lids, I'm going to try to keep this more on the rounded side of things. how easily and pretty that blended out that blended out so pretty I'm gonna go in with this LA LA colors eyeshadow palette um I don't know Cheryl Christine actually got this for me she bought it when she came in town it's really cute and I do believe she got this from um, her local um, drugstore I'm gonna go in with this reddish brown color right here it is a reddish brown and I'm gonna put that in my crease Oh, I do have a bit of fallout with this, but the color is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take this brown color over here and I'm going to put that all over the lid, going up a little bit underneath where I started to do my crease. And you're just going to want to pack that on. She love to walk off limp. Late nights, no fights. I would come home to you outside. Waiting for me, I was coming for you. Running red lights, thinking of that long pipe. Remember when you laid me down and picked me up. Now I'm going to take this matte brown in the palette and I'm going to go into the crease even more and indefinitely smoke it out. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
The last thing I'm gonna do is take a matte black and I'm taking it from any drugstore palette and this is just the sleep makeup palette. It is very much affordable. I only paid $10 for this palette. I'm only gonna deepen the outer and the, the outer V and the inner tear duct area. And we got trees, so here we go around. Daughter know I hate it, she's so sweet. Now, now and later, I want that all the time. All, all the time, all the time. I'm gonna you all the minds when it's... Early in the morning, that's too good about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early in the morning, that's too good about you. I'm gonna take the matte brown and I'm going to smoke out my bottom line area with that same matte brown and then I'm going to take the matte black and I'm gonna deepen it with a flat liner brush and then I'm gonna go back into the reddish brown and I'm gonna transition the bottom waterline with it so everything can blend seamlessly and be smoked out. Like I said, I'm just taking the reddish brown and I'm going to bring it underneath the waterline to transition everything out. In our waterline, we're going to take our NYX Treasure Lee liner in pitch black and we're going to put it in our waterline and our and we're going to also tight line. I'm also going to take the smallest amount and run it on my lash line just so we can deepen that area for the lashes. So realistically we have gotten very close to her eye look. This is it. And if you want, you can stop here and you would just go in with lashes on the top and blow your bottom lashes out with mascara and then move on to the rest of this video. But I do want to take it up a step further and make this more holiday fun and holiday appropriate. I really hope it works what I'm about to do. So let's see. I'm very nervous. Going in with my Pacifica Natural Minerals, Minerals Palette. I have a gorgeous gold color here. It is so freaking beautiful. I want to put it in the center, creating a halo effect on my eyes, making it more holiday appropriate. Then gonna pack on some NYX glitter cream from a NYX glitter cream palette. And it is just going to be a slight glitter effect. It's not gonna be much. Um, I got this a long time ago, so um, I don't know if they still have this. But um, it is just called the NYX glitter cream palette. You can. Um, essentially going in with any gold glitter um, eyeshadow. The next step we're gonna do is coat our lashes. So go in with your drugstore mascara. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Because I don't have any, I'm just gonna go in with my It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Go in with any of the drugstore mascara you feel like going in with. Can you guys do me a favor? Down below in the description box, I need you guys to tell me some of the best drugstore lash mas some of the best drugstore mascara you have come across and you have used that you like that I should try. And I'm definitely gonna go and pick it up over the weekend. These mascaras are expensive and I want some great comparable drugstore ones. So hook a sister up and let me know down below in the comment section what mascara are you guys using and loving and that's gonna have my lashes on 10. All right guys, so this is the holiday spin on that look. Like I said, if you wanted to stop where we stop prior and just do the lashes. So you could stop there, but like I said, I wanted to make this holiday friendly. This is where we add and I don't know. I'm really, really liking how this looks. Like I am so liking how this looks. 
it looks really pretty to me i don't know like i really hope you guys like it because i worked hard on it and i'm nervous because i really hope you guys like it anyway let's move on to finishing the face for blush i'm gonna go into my b matte blush by city color it is very affordable it's about five bucks i do believe or in the shade zinnia so this is extremely affordable it's a gorgeous neutral dusty rose color and we need that because in the picture she had a very neutral blush boom like what more do we need boom obviously the next part of this look is highlighting again with another city blush a city color cosmetics um product and this is their bronzer sunset i i think this is a gorgeous highlight because it fits a numerous amount of skin tones like everyone could actually use this it's a bronzer but for deeper tones it's a gorgeous highlight you're gonna look dewy you're gonna look gorgeous and for bronzer for lighter fair skin oh my gosh you're gonna love this so i like this product because everyone can get away with using it yes i'm going in for more it's the holidays you want to have a holiday glow yes so next i'm just gonna spray my brush a little bit more i'm going to go in with a lighter highlighter and the lighter highlighter that i'm going in with is in my same pacifica palette it is this gorgeous cream highlighter right here it's almost like the same thing as the color pop highlighters to show I did add some highlighter underneath my brow bone area just a very slight highlighter and we're going in for the lips now I'm gonna just take some of my gloss off and make sure my lips are smooth because I'm using these whack LA girl liquid lipsticks in the pigment glosses I know some of you guys like them and some of you hate them me personally I hate them They're the two shades that came the closest to the lip color and the two colors I'm talking about is LA girl backstage and la girl secrets they have la girl backstage and la girl secrets and these are the two that gave me the color so first we're going to put um secret on our um, first we're going to put backstage on our lips and then we're going to go over top of it with secret and the trick for these is you have to do the bottom let it dry do the top let it dry go in with another coat let it dry All right, guys, so this is the finished look. If you wanted to stop the tutorial right here and use the brick reddish lip, I think it does pair awfully beautiful with the brown smoky eye and the gold. It is such a gorgeous combination, if you ask me. Like, for those of us that are bold, but for me, I'm gonna go in with a nude lip also for those of us that want something a little bit more toned down because the eyes are very dramatic. And speaking of nude lips, I'm going to line my lips with Jordana Easy liner for lips in rocking rose it's a gorgeous nudish rose color matches the milani color perfectly and for the outer area i'm going in with nyx cappuccino it's just a basic brown lip liner you can use any liner you want i'm going in with milani naked number 61 it's from her matte collection it's this gorgeous rosy nudie brownie nudie perfect i'm gonna top it off with nyx butter gloss in praline look as we go with the nude lip combo i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and you plan on recreating this look go ahead and tag me on pound brooklyn but on instagram so i can see it and repost some of your looks and if you guys have some holiday looks you want me to see or some of your looks that you want me to see go ahead and use the hashtag so i can see your pics and repost and show some love thank you so much for rocking out with me here on miss brooklyn's but corner one more time Please like this video if you like this video. It would mean so much to me, guys. Please share this video on Google Plus or any or all of your social media networks you feel like sharing it on. Follow me on all of my social media networks. Links are somewhere on the screen or down below in the description box. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.